Hello everyone. It's Cupcake. Actually today it really is Professor Cupcake because I'm going to show you how to make my spectacular, fun, boho broke fabric softener. Now I learned a while ago on the internet that people could make many of the laundry products that you buy in the store. And at first I thought, uh, I don't know about that. But then I went online and I discovered that fabric softener is essentially white vinegar, the agents that are used in hair conditioner, scenting agents, and water. So I thought, well, I'll try a few of these recipes that they have online, and I tried four different ones. And the one that I'm going to show you today turned out to have the best consistency and just overall performance in the washer and then to the dryer. So I'm going to show you that. And the only caveat that I want to mention before we get started is if for any reason you want an organic, all natural, and unscented or lightly scented version of what we're going to make today, all you need is white vinegar or organic vinegar, whatever your preferred hair conditioner is, organic, natural, you know, whatever it is, and then either essential oils. Some of them are not advised for the skin, so you can research that, or just no scenting agent at all. We're going to make something fancy. And of course, this is just going to be very, oh, well, it's going to be dirt cheap. So let's get started. Okay, everyone. This is the portion of the video where I'm going to show you the mixing up of everything and exactly how you do things. So like I said, this is from the Dollar Tree and it's 32 ounces of hair conditioner. I've already put it in here, but let me tell you what exactly you do. This right here is a jug that I got from Aldi's and something else was in it before, but it's a perfect mixing jug but all you need is something about this size. So I just take the conditioner, I put it upside down, I get a little bit of it out, okay? And then with a little bit still in it, what I do is put the funnel in and I pour the amount of white vinegar to just add a little bit, shake it up, and then pour the vinegar back in here, the hair conditioner. So what I'm doing is I'm loosening up the conditioner. Now because this is 32 ounces, what you're going to do is you're going to add one to here and then you're going to add five cups of vinegar and ten and a half cups of water. I'm going to put the standard recipe in the first pinned comment. And what you do is you just depending on how many ounces are in your conditioner you just adjust the vinegar and water to make it work out properly and when you add your scenting agent you just add as much of it as you want it can smell as potent or as light as you want and you can mix different scents and come up with whatever it is that you want so I'm going to add the last of the white vinegar to this. Okay. So I've already mixed up two brands back here, or I should say two scents, and it's a surprise. What did I make? <laughs> and I'm going to go and I'm going to shake this up and pour it up and show you exactly what we get when we make this on our own on the cheap. Okay, everyone, I have mixed everything up. I made all the different three versions. So in total, we used 15 cups of white vinegar, 31 and a half cups of water, and 66 fluid ounces of conditioner with a splash of different fragrance oils. This pile right here is Eternity Egyptian Musk. And it smells very manly, like it would smell nice on 
t-shirts and jeans and that kind of stuff. This pile right here is a really beautiful scent. And it is the sweet smell of success and feng shui together. This video is actually being taped in the love quadrant of the home Bagua. And this is my favorite scent, which is Wild at Heart Wet Kisses. And it's sweet, a tiny bit floral, and my comforters and sheets, towels are gonna smell amazing. Okay, right here you can see that we have six containers full of fabric softener. And I estimate that the total cost of materials was about $4.70. So this is going to last a very long time. It's really quick to just make all of this. It took about, I don't know, like 10 minutes. I'm going to put all the fabric softener in the laundry room, recycle the conditioner and white vinegar bottles. And I thank you very much for watching. The recipe, the general recipe will be in the pinned comments, as well as information about essential oils that aren't great for the skin. I'll put the links to where I purchased the fragrance oils that I used, as well as, you know, just a listing of just general things you might want to think about. And I would appreciate it if you would circulate this video to people that you think could use this recipe, save themselves some money, and try it yourself. And just, I don't know, just see what you think. So I've been making my own fabric softener now for about 10 months. And I'll never buy the store stuff ever again. So take care of yourself and all my social media links are in the comment box and I love to see your comments. That's what I get most excited about. Subscribe if you want to, but I ain't your mom and do what you want. All right. Peace everyone. Bye bye.